A little over six months have passed with the Flybird Adjustable Weight Bench, and here are my thoughts on this home piece of equipment after using it for some time. So let's jump right into this review. Starting off, the Flybird Adjustable Bench is just that. It is a bench you can adjust in seven different back positions or three different seat angles. This adjustable bench is meant to supplement other items in your home training, such as dumbbells. And I think dumbbells are the primary piece of equipment I use about every single time I use the adjustable bench. Yes, you can hook up things like resistance bands to it, but I just find that I go to the bench most of the time when I'm using dumbbells only. Of course, if you have a barbell system as well, this is great for that setup, but I only have dumbbells here, so that's why I mostly use it for. So with that, I bought the Flybird Adjustable Weight Bench back on August 31st of 2020 from Amazon.com. The purchase price at the time was $189.79, and the total after Texas taxes came in at $205.45. However, I did have an Amazon gift card, which was actually return money um, from some of the products I returned that I tried out earlier in order to cover the entire cost of this adjustable bench. So after six months, what am I using the Flybird adjustable bench for? With the adjustable bench, I like to do the big compound lifts. This includes things like the bench press, I do like to do it in incline, so I'll call it an incline bench press. Also the chest supported rows, hip thrusts, Bulgarian split squats, uh, seated overhead press, and many other exercises. But those are probably the cream of the crop of the exercises I do with this bench. Of course, there are other isolation based exercises that I do with the bench. However, in recent months, I found myself trying to kind of push my bench aside and not use it as much. Instead, do the same movement without the bench. But if you wanna have a bench and you feel more comfortable doing it, I highly recommend this one, and I'll get into the pros and cons now. So starting off with our first pro, it is very easy to set up and very fast to get it all ready to go. In order to get it set up, all you need to do is take it out from that folded position, get it all ready and at the angle you want, and then insert the support pin at the bottom, and you are ready to go. Takes all of a few seconds, and it's, again, super easy to set up and do the exercises from there. And with the ability to put it to seven different back positions, as well as three different seat positions, there's a lot to work with here. You can also go below parallel, so if you want to do some things like uh, decline crunches, or even decline chest pressing, you can do that as well. I tend to not do that. I really just stick with the flat or inclined exercises or even something like overhead pressing where it's straight up, but you do have those other options. And this bench has been rated to withstand up to 620 pounds. I did receive a comment of someone who bought this and it did break on them, even though they said they didn't use that much. For me, I'm at 183 pounds right now, and even with my additional 100 pounds, I'm nowhere near to even breaking this thing. It doesn't feel like it's budging at all, but I could see if someone was doing like heavy barbell lifting, such as bench pressing, and you can lift a lot of weight, you might need to look at something that can support more of that weight over time. For me, I think this is perfect for dumbbell style home training. However, you can use again that barbell if that is what you have for your gym. Again, I'm in my small office here, so I'm not working with too much. It's just simple dumbbells and this bench. And with the easy setup, it's very, very easy to fold up and put away. This was actually the number one draw to me buying it initially. I saw all the reviews and everything, but when I saw how easy it is to fold up and store, this is what really caught my attention. And it's why I spent a bit more money on this version. Moving along, the bench is very comfortable. With two inch foam thick padding on both the backrest and the seat, this is great. I have never felt like I was hurting my back in any way or falling all the way through it. The two inch foam padding is just what you need in order to be comfortable while using this bench. And my last pro is that coming in at five feet, 11 inches tall, this bench fits perfectly for my height. Now I can't vouch for everyone else. I'd say maybe if you're over six, three, it could cause a problem with your head being a little bit over the backrest. Or if you're really, really short, this might be too big for you. But again, if you're anywhere around that six feet, I'd say six feet, six, three, maybe to around five, nine, five, eight, this is really the perfect bench in terms of size for anyone at that height. And with that, let's jump into the cons of the Flybird Adjustable Weight Bench. So I'm gonna start off with the biggest con here, and that is that the seat is 21 inches off the ground, which to me is too high, as well as many other people have left reviews 
that is probably the number one complaint I see as well. It can make things a little awkward. I can put my feet flat on the ground, but I just feel like I'm a little too high off the ground when using it. And the biggest problem I've seen is with exercises such as hip thrusts, this causes a big problem as it is now not keeping me parallel to the floor as my back is a little angled instead of getting to that parallel. I wish it was about 18 inches, 17, 18 inches. That would be perfect. If they can make this exact same thing at that seat height, this is perfect. However, the one I have is 21 inches. While it's not the biggest con I have personally at coming in at 5'11", I can see anyone being shorter than that, having a really hard time with some of the exercises on this um, adjustable weight bench. To go along with that, it makes it so that this bench is not stable with every exercise. Yes, anything I could put my feet flat on the ground, except for those hip thrusts, really does keep it stable. So things like bench pressing, um, the chest supported rows, overhead pressing, all those I feel perfectly fine and stable. The issue comes with anything such as the hip thrust. That's a big one. In order to do this, I actually have to put it up against a wall because if I don't, I will push it over and then fall and really hurt my back if I hit some of the metal beams on the back of this bench. So that is something that you'll need to watch out for. Make sure you brace it if you're doing something like hip thrusts. A smaller con, but one nonetheless, is that there is a small pin on the bottom of the bench, which does provide additional support for that 620 pounds. I'm wondering if the person that actually had their break didn't put this in supporting pin in and that's why it fell apart. However, it is kind of annoying to always have to insert this and remove it every time you need to move it around and set it back up. I wish it just would unfold and you're ready to go. It's again, not the biggest thing. It takes like a second to put in, but it is just something you have to remember to do and you can't really lose it or else it loses some of the integrity of the bench. Another thing for storing, when you fold this up, if you put everything completely together, the base support will actually not stand upright. So if you're putting it on its feet, it'll actually fall down on you. You have to separate the feet just a little bit in order to keep balance. So just know that when you put it away, don't put the bottom feet touching each other, separate them just slightly so that the bench doesn't fall over in the folded position. And my last con is that if you are someone lifting a lot of weight, especially someone working with barbells, maybe in like a garage gym, and you're using more than 620 pounds, so your body weight plus the bar plus weight, this might not be for you if you can lift a ton. So again, I think this is perfect for anyone lifting dumbbells at home and weigh maybe around my weight or 200 pounds or so. But if you're someone, again, lifting massive amount of weight, look for another bench that can support that kind of training. And the last question I always ask myself is, would I buy the Flybird adjustable weight bench again? If I was in the market to buy another bench, this would definitely be at the top of my list. Of course, I had some of those cons, the big one being the height of the seat. I really wish they had one at 18 inches because I would instantly buy it if they did, but I'll have to wait to, for that and see if they ever make one. However, even with that being said, this is still my favorite bench I've ever purchased, probably with the Fitness Reality Bench being just behind it. That one didn't fold as well, but this one really does fold well and store in my closet. If they made the Fitness Reality Bench fold like this one, that one would beat this one out handedly, but it doesn't. So the Flybird Adjustable Bench is my go-to. Also, the pin selector for this makes this very quick to set up versus something like the Fitness Reality where it just had the little knobs on the back. This one with the pin selector makes things very, very simple and I just feel secure when using it. So that is it on my six month review of the Flybird Adjustable Weight Bench. I hope you did like it. If you did, please like and subscribe to GamerBody for more reviews just like this one. If you haven't already, make sure you head over to GamerBody.com. There you can check out my current home workout program, all the equipment I own and use, and the information I'm learning from to continue to build muscle and confidence all from the comfort of home. And that's it. So again, like, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. Be fit and game on.